Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Frank in action again and in this video we'll be talking about how to effectively handle a rude student during an online ESL class. Wow, so stay tuned. Alright, so again guys, dealing with a rude student during an online ESL class can be a challenge, right? And actually, it's challenge is an understatement. <laughs> Alright, we're going to talk about this one and I hope these tips can help you guys, you know, to effectively handle the class as much as possible. <laughs> Alright. Now, the first thing that I'm going to tell is stay calm. This is very important. Stay calm as much as possible. It is essential that we can maintain a calm demeanor <laughs> and do not let the student's rudeness get under our skin. Okay? <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay? <laughs> and you have to remain your composure. Okay? Composure and actually respond in a rational and also professional manner that's very important and uh, when something happened like this sometimes this is the thing that we don't want to experience and most of the time when this rudeness really get into our skin we become rude too you know, I'm not sure if everyone can handle it, but there are times perhaps that some of our my co-teachers actually send me messages about this kind of situation, and I actually understand how you feel, guys. And I've experienced it, and we just need to be calm at first, okay? And um, yeah, de breathe deeply. Actually. When that happened, what I do usually is I just take a deep breath, okay? Breathing is so important, so you could be able to stay calm, okay? Sometimes doing that actually changed the way they talk to me. Like showing them that I don't like the, their rudeness, you know, like... <laughs> They already have a hint that I don't like what they did, you know. But sometimes, they just focus on how they feel. And doing that never took an effect <laughs> for them. Now, the second tip that I want to share to you is to set a boundary. Set, uh, set clear boundaries to your students. Um, actually establishing these clear boundaries and also classroom rules or class rules at the beginning of your class can, re can really prevent rude behavior because uh, both of you had already a talk about, you know, rudeness is actually not allowed in your class. And that's very important. Um, if you already established that class rules or classroom rules, you can actually remind your student of the rules and explain how their behavior uh, is not acceptable based on the rules that you had presented before the lesson started. Or if a student is our, uh, you know, like keep on taking your lesson, um, it would be great if you are assertive enough to tell that since you are actually taking my lessons a lot of times, I want to set some uh, classroom rules would it be okay for you All this kind of things yeah um, the third tip that I can give to you is to address uh, the behavior okay um, just be direct you know and address the students behavior by stating how it affects you and also the environment of the lesson 
uh, try to avoid personal attacks and stick to the facts of the the situation, the behavioral situation, this kind of things. Now, the other tip that I can provide to you is to provide constructive feedback. You know, um, try offering constructive feedback on how the student can improve their behavior. You know, for example, uh, suggest ways uh, they can communicate respectfully, such as using please and also uh, thank you, this kind of thing. Or, for example, um, suggest them to lower their voice, uh, suggest them to not shout during the lesson, this kind of things. Yeah. Um, the next step is to involve the student. You know, um, sometimes we just want to address our our concern about the behavioral situation that is happening, and we sometimes you know neglect what the student is coming from or where the student is coming from. So you can actually ask the student to explain why they are behaving rudely, as this can also give you. An insight of the root cause of the issue and this can help you address the issue effectively and um, find a solution perhaps together and you become best friends <laughs> I hope so <laughs> all right now the last uh, uh, but not the least but I hope you will not be able to use this and just you know focus on the one to five tips um this one uh seek support you know like if what happened is already too much to handle um you seek support uh if the behavior continues like for example or becomes more severe each lesson it may be necessary to seek support also from uh, you know your company's supervisor or perhaps ask questions to your co-teachers on how or what kind of tips or uh, do they encounter this kind of student. You don't have to mention the name of the student for their privacy, of course. Um, also, ask for guidance from other teachers. And um, you technically just ask help to resolve the issue. But of course, this seeking support might line up to asking, you know, if it's okay not to have the lesson with a student. For some companies, they allow student uh, teachers to 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 do that with, of course, uh, acceptable reasons. And some companies would allow to their teachers to, for example, for ESL online classes, to block their students. Actually, blocking students is actually something that is very uncomfortable to do. But I've done it and I always feel bad about that one every time I talk about it. I'm not very comfortable talking about it. I feel my weakness i don't feel regret because i know when i did that i really there's no time that there's no instances or there's no instance that i block and i regret it because i wish i could have done no i think i really put all my effort to that scenario you know to that situation so I think I I really put my effort to 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 resolve and to help myself and to help my student you know not to burn bridges you know, but you know there are some instances situations that you really have to do those things so yeah that's something I just want to make sure that you guys you know blocking your students 
in your platform you know you ask help first you know you 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 put all your efforts so that when the time comes no regrets you know no regrets <laughs> all right anyway so just remember that dealing with the rude students requires such amount of patience uh what else professionalism and empathy samba samba mak mak <laughs> like a lot of amount of empathy so i hope guys just by following these steps you can effectively handle this situation and create a positive learning environment in everyone or for everyone in your class for each student that you will be encountering in everyday life as an ESL teacher so I think it's too late to say welcome but again welcome guys if you're still uh, new to this channel this is teacher Frank uh, lately I have been so busy but this time I'm gonna be focusing on giving some tips you know uh, real scenario tips and real you know important questions that can really help you uh, at least feel that you're not alone you know you also have those questions and uh, perhaps you can get values of some tips that I am sharing here in my YouTube channel and if you have any questions comments guys in the section below you can actually just type those questions and I will try my best to answer those in my next videos or by just commenting uh in your questions all right thank you so much for watching this is teacher frank again have a great day